Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Your Tech Today. In this video, we're going to unbox and have a first look at the Lenovo K5 Note. So I have the 4GB RAM version over here. It is available in 4GB as well as 3GB version. 3GB is available for 12,000 rupees on Flipkart and uh, 4GB is 13,500. It is an open sale. There is no flash sale of any sort. So this is the Flipkart packaging. So let's open it up. There's a box inside. It's been a long time since I've ordered anything from Flipkart because most of the things are available on Amazon and I sort of prefer Amazon for my purchases. So the phone is inside this box. So here it is, the K5 Note. I have the grey version 4GB RAM. So this is what the box looks like. So it has been manufactured in uh, China. So we can see what and all is in the box. So one phone, travel adapter, quick start guide, warranty, one screen protector and the case also is provided 13,499. The battery capacity is 3,500 mAh which is mentioned on the box and these are the SAR values in case you are interested in that. So some of the specifications are mentioned here but we will anyways go in depth into what the specifications are in this video. So there is a hologram here for the warranty and uh, that it is an original piece. So let's open it up. Let's open the seal. And there we go. Wow. So the phone is over here, it comes in its own case, so let's remove that for now. So it's nice of uh, Lenovo to provide this case. So it's not exactly hard plastic, it is a bit flexible, but it is on the harder side. It's not a TPU case, if you're wondering. There's a screen protector. Before we look at the phone, we'll just see what else is in the box. Image ejector tool, some documentation, quick start guide, warranty. You get a USB cable and a charger. So let's take a look at the charger, 5.2 volts, 2 amp. So there is no quick charger provided. I don't know whether this phone supports quick charging or not. I don't think it does. So here is the phone. First impression, it looks really beautiful. It's not that heavy. I was expecting it to feel a bit heavy, but it's feeling quite light. It is feeling lighter than the Redmi Note 3. The color uh, over here is quite nice. So there is a sticker over here. The protection film, I'll just peel that off. Wow. And there is one on the front also. So the phone is uh, made out of metal. So this is also a metal uh, body. It's a unibody, the back cannot be opened. You have the fingerprint scanner over here, the Vibe branding over here, the 13 megapixel camera over here, which is a phase detection autofocus. And it's a Samsung sensor, one by, one by three inch sensor, 1.12 micrometer is the pixel size. There is a flash over here. I think it's not a dual tone, it's a single tone flash. You have the volume rocker, the power button, and the SIM, eject, the SIM tray over here. On the bottom we have a microphone, a micro USB uh, port and on the top we have a 3.5mm headphone jack. So you can have a look at how the phone looks, uh, you know, what is the build like. I think it's looking pretty nice, there are no sharp edges anywhere. It's a bit rounded and uh, the SIM tray is absolutely flush with the body and even the buttons are nice and uh, Tactile. So overall on the build, I feel it is looking quite nice. There's a speaker over here, the speaker grill. They have uh, not gone with the dual front firing speakers. I don't know why they did that because the dual front firing speakers were really nice on the K4 Note. You have the earpiece, the front camera, and I believe the sensors are over here. And you have the three Android buttons, the capacitive buttons. It's a 5.5 inch display, full HD, IPS panel, they claim it's a 1000 is to 1 contrast ratio 
and 70% uh, NTSC color uh, gamut it supports and 401 pixels per inch. We do not know whether there is any Corning Gorilla, Gorilla Glass uh, protection on the phone. Uh, I think it is just a, a glass used by Lenovo. We don't know the source of the glass. So let's uh, switch it on. I got the vibration feedback and here are some of the specifications. So it's a dual SIM device and uh, you get three microphones. It's a full HD screen and uh, fixed focus 1.4 micrometer uh, camera on the front. It's an uh, 8 megapixel camera and the back camera is a uh, five piece composite lens, Samsung sensor as I told you, supports 3G and 4G. And here are some more of the specification, weight of 165 grams, a one year warranty and six months on the inbox accessories and a 3500 mAh uh, battery, 4GB RAM, 32GB ROM, it only comes in 32GB and it is a 1.8 GHz Helio P10 64-bit octa-core processor and here are all the bands on 4G and 3G that it supports and I believe it supports all the bands in India. So the phone is switched on, let's go for English India. So let me just do the quick setup and get back to you. So the phone has switched on, uh, the basic setup I have completed. There is a system update already as it says. Let me pump up the brightness, yeah. So this is what the first uh, boot up looks like. So let's check how much storage do we get. So out of the 32 GB, 8.43 GB is used up. Out of that 7.6 is used by the OS and the internal storage is using 854 MB. So out of the 4 GB RAM, 3.7 is usable and 2.6 GB is free on the first boot. Right now we don't have anything installed or running in the background. Let's check what OS it is running, whether it is Marshmallow or not. Yes, it is Android version 6. So it is running Android 6, but uh, the uh, Lenovo UI is on, on top of that. Looks pretty similar to the previous versions of uh, Lenovo UI. You get an app drawer over here. There are a lot of uh, pre-installed apps like McCafe. Let's just remove that and see whether we can uninstall it or not. Yes, we can. I don't need Flipkart. So this is how you can free up some of the storage inside. But 32 GB is quite a lot of storage. So you don't have to worry about finishing the store inbuilt storage. I am going to apply the system update and then get back to you, do the basic setup. So one more test that we'll do is that as it says it's a 5 volt uh, 2 amp charger, I just want to check whether it actually supports uh, 5 uh, or 2 amps actually, that is about 10 watts. So this is a dummy load, it's a device which will show the wattage which we are drawing, the current basically, from the charger. So it's at 5.34 uh, 33 volts, so I'm going to slowly push up the load so you can see we are drawing about 500 1 amp so a good charger should uh, support at least the amperage which is show, uh, written on the specifications or a little more than that so we are at 1.7 so we are at 2.12 amps so as I go on increasing this is the final adjustment, this is the course adjustment. So we are at 2.2 amps. So this is uh, providing uh, the specified load that the company mentions. It is surpassing that. So you can see at 2.2 amps we had a sudden voltage drop. So 2.2 is what is good. After that when we increase, the voltage begins to drop. And at 2.2 and if I increase it more, you can see the display became demo. It's not able to support that. So 2.2 amps is a so good thing Lenovo has done. They are providing good quality chargers. So we're going to set up the fingerprint. Let's go ahead. I'll add another one. So we can add five fingerprints. So let's just check how good is the fingerprint unlocking. So the phone is locked, I touch it, it opens. Let's check that again. Okay. So 
so you can get an idea how fast it is it's pretty fast it's as good as any other phone in this price bracket let's check how long the usb cable which is provided is so i think it's about a meter long not very long i would have preferred if they provide longer usb cables so let's put in a sim card the update is complete and i'm going to put a reliance geo sim which is a true 4g sim card and i will put an airtel sim also both are nano but this second slot can be used to put in a micro sd card also up to 128 gb that's also one downgrade from the last version where you could use two sims and as well as a micro sd card so as you can see i did not have to restart the phone while while i change the sims or put in the sim cards it, you can keep your phone on and uh, put in the sims so sim 1 is geo sim 2 is on uh, 2g because the one is on 4g and i have switched on the data on the geo sim so both the networks have been detected it shows a 4g symbol but i don't think this phone supports voice over lte that's why voice over lte symbol is not being shown over here so that's again a negative i feel over here at this price point so guys some of the apps are getting uh, updated meanwhile we'll just look at cpu z and just see what it says so at, uh, as you can see 8 core and it's 1.81 uh, gigahertz cortex a53 so the cores are running right now as things are getting installed cpu load is at 70% Mali A T eight sixty GPU and GPU load is zero right now, and you can see some device details. So you have about sixty uh, percent RAM free while I'm updating the uh, different apps. This is the Android version. Battery is at forty two percent. Thirty seven degrees is the temperature. So you can see the temperature also. I can feel a bit of heat and near the earpiece. I think that's where the CPU is located but we'll have a look at that in detail in the future videos probably the gaming test i will check the temperatures in detail so here are the sensors accelerometer proximity is there light sensor gyro is there obviously because this supports ant vr headset which i've done a video on so you can check out that video uh, in the i button on top i will leave a link over there yeah there's a magnetometer orientation step counter is not there i think and rotation gravity linear acceleration let's check out the camera quickly so it has a 8 megapixel front camera 13 megapixel back camera and i think it's a f2.0 aperture and you can see the camera opened up pretty quickly and i'm going to snap some pictures here so it's pretty fast can check the shutter speed there is an hdr mode let's switch that on and see so in hdr mode it's a little slower so you have to be careful not to shake the camera while you're clicking as you can see these images are blurry i don't think it's very clear so this one seems to be sharp this one too yeah so if you hold the camera steady i think you can get very good results but they should have added optical image stabilization at this price point let's put on the case and see how the phone feels with the case on so the case uh, snaps on pretty nicely it will protect your phone on the edges and uh, it will protect your camera also as it creates a bit of a distance between the surface and your camera not much though so you can definitely change it when this thing gets scratched up the buttons are easily accessible let's check whether it uh, supports otg so i have my pen drive attached here so it has detected it
so it is playing a 4k file pretty nicely through the otg it is seeking through the this is a very high bitrate uh, 4k file it's 125 megabits per second and uh, you can see it's playing it pretty well no issues over here but you need to install mx player for that check out the viewing angles very nice beautiful screen so usb otg and 4k playback is supported and the audio through the speaker is also quite nice better than uh, the redmi note 3 and some of the other phones not as good as the old k4 note or the vive x3 so we are checking the temperatures while the and 2 benchmark is running with an infrared camera so this is the flare one camera you can see my hand here is at about 36, 37 and I think the processor is located over here somewhere as you can see the heat is emanating from there and we can see a temperature of 42, 41, 42 degrees celsius Whereas the rest of the phone is at about 40, 39 on the edges. So I think this is where the LEDs for the screen are located. That is why we have the heat source over here. So guys, the Antutu benchmark is done and I've got a score of 34,094. Uh, seems to be really low. Uh, I don't know, is there a you know error while uh, the benchmark was running or this is actually the score that we are supposed to get. So we will quickly run Geekbench also and see what happens. So the Geekbench score is also pretty low, 476 on a single core and 1480 on multi-core which is okay because it has octa-core processor. So Scores wise it is pretty uh, low but uh, I am using it about uh, for about half an hour to one hour now and uh, the device has not shown any signs of lag or anything. So let's see how it uh, performs in the full review I will tell you. Let's open up YouTube and uh, just see how the speaker quality is. Xiaomi the speaker A sound Light output is quite motion. nice and loud. There is bass loud. also in the sound. And it is the upgrade to the old uh, Mi Light. So I will tell you. But I do miss the dual front firing speaker. It's a, it's, uh, this is without, without the Dolby feature. The Dolby feature uh, does improve the audio quite a lot out of the speakers. So that is one speaker. Looks like. So it has uh, more. So here is no copyright music. It is playing on the 4G network. I switched off Dolby. Keeping the phone down does muffle the sound a little bit. Again, I would like to tell Lenovo. Horrible move, moving the speaker back side. We should have provided the front firing speakers. Anyways. Let's open up Google Chrome. So this is the desktop site uh, which has opened up. And you can see it is on the 4G network, so the loading may be slow or fast depending on the network availability. But you can see the phone is handling it quite well. The website is still loading, but we can still move around. So, so the browser performance also is satisfactory. I wouldn't say it is bad in any way. It's smooth and 
should be fine for daily use Actually, this is the first impression so guys this was the first look at the k5 note it was the unboxing and the basic uh, things that we saw with the k5 note and i feel the build is quite nice uh, they could have priced it a little lower but uh, there's only 4 gb device available at this price and uh, 32 gb of inbuilt storage is something i like and the sound is also quite nice screen is good build quality is good i really like this color and i'm glad i bought this one the fingerprint sensor works uh, nice the camera seems to be satisfactory especially comparing it with the other phones at least the initial impression is that the camera should be fine too and uh, they provide you a case and a screen guard so that's also nice of them and it does not support quick charging but it does come with a 2 amp charger so we will check the charging times in detail in the uh, continue, uh, coming videos thanks for watching this video guys and if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below i'll try to answer it as soon as possible and if you like the video hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one take care bye bye